Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam from Spiritus Systems. And today we're gonna to be talking about two new products that we're releasing, the Big Fanny Sack and the Brunch Box. All right, so let's get started with the Big Fanny Sack. So before we ever dive into the specifics of a product, I like to give a little information on why we created it and where our thought process was when we were developing it. Fanny packs have been a staple of the last war, the global war on terror. Guys have been using them to carry all sorts of things, mission essential equipment, med equipment, pistols, things like that. Uh, we currently have a very uh, well-selling product called the Fanny Sack, which a lot of you probably own or you've seen in the past, which is just a smaller fanny pack. A lot of the requests that we've been getting have been for a larger fanny pack. So we decided that we were going to redesign it, change some things about it and add some new features to it. So some of the stuff that you're going to see is very familiar. And then there's a couple of new things as well. So first off on the front, we have a small zippered pocket. This pocket has dual zippers. And that's something that we always do at Spiritus because we want you to always have the ability to open the pouch. Even if one of the zippers fails, it gets stuck or broken off. This front uh, pocket does not have hook or loop in it. It is completely just Cordura, but it does have a small tie down loop in it for securing small items. This pocket is great for you know smaller stuff that you need quick access to, but you don't want mixed in the main compartment. Uh, for me, if I'm carrying a handgun, I generally tend to put the spare magazine in the front pocket. That way it's separate and I just don't have it you know, inside with the, with the gun. If you're gonna be pulling the gun out, you don't wanna have anything flying out uh, on that draw and you wanna have quick access and a clean access to the firearm inside. So that front pocket's kinda where, what I use to stash those types of items. Moving to the main pocket, we changed the geometry a little bit to be a little more conducive to a draw. So the pocket opens up kind of forward and this pocket is lined with loop Velcro. It also has two tie downs in it as well. You know, if you have your pistol in here with a holster, you can always use those tie downs to attach your holster to. Uh, I just use a little bit of type three nylon or 550 cord, and I just have that holster attached to it so that when I draw the pistol, the pistol comes out and the holster will just dangle from the side. Then I can reholster it and put it back. The pouch is considerably bigger now. So things like, you know, a Glock 17 and a holster is gonna fit in here all day with no problems. Even with uh, something like an Acro on the top, that's not gonna even phase this pouch. We specifically made this to be able to hold a staccato, a full-size staccato with an Acro and a flashlight on it. So if you're, if you're running a full-size pistol, no problem. It's gonna fit just fine. Probably the newest feature on this is that we have a zippered compartment on the backside, but it is the full size of the pouch. And we put this here, uh, again, this was a user request. Uh, we got a lot of people asking about, hey, you know, I'm wearing gym shorts or something like that. You know, I'm going to the beach, things like that. And I wanna have my car keys and my wallet and kind of those items in a pocket that is separate and hidden from uh, the front of the fanny sack. So we added this zippered compartment. Again, it has dual zips on it, very flat, but it's great for like putting your wallet in your keys, money, things like that. Things that you don't want to uh, somebody to know that that pocket's even there. And so if you are asked to empty your pockets or something like that, well, you're not starting with your wallet and your cash and things like that. Uh, you can just reach inside the main compartment and pull your handgun out and you know everyone knows how that story ends. So a couple other features, just small details. Uh, on the side, we have a small, um, piece of squadron that is laser cut. These are these are little pull tabs. They help you zip the pouch. And also uh, they're great for just hanging things like keys or, or whatever off the side. Uh, and then we still do have two grommet holes on the bottom of the pouch as well uh, so that you can attach a tourniquet uh, in the style that you know all of our other pouches use as well. If you wanna get one of our kits to attach a tourniquet, you can. So just for reference, I wanted to show the big fanny sack and uh, show you guys how I kind of set it up and you know to prove to you that it actually fits a full-size pistol. So starting on the front, in that front zippered pocket, I have a 17 round uh, staccato magazine in that. So that's a pretty big you know magazine for full frame pistol. And then opening the main compartment, you can see that I have 
the full-sized pistol inside of that compartment. Um, this is a C2, but it will fit a staccato P with a flashlight and an acro on it. Just to give you an idea of the height of the pistol that'll fit inside of this. This fits in here just fine. I have no problem carrying it. I've been carrying it this way for about a year, testing this guy out before we uh, actually put it into production. So it definitely works. Uh, just a couple notes on the holster. What I like to do is I like to just simply use, I'll just unclip it here. I like to simply use a small S beaner and then some nylon cord. Now this could be 550 cord or I have a little bit of a smaller diameter cord, but it doesn't matter. Just something that is gonna be in a closed loop like that. And I do this because then it's easy for me to just unclip this if I'm not carrying my pistol that way. Uh, you know, and I just wanna use the fanny pack for, you know, other stuff. Then I can just take this out if I don't need it. Uh, but you could just as easily tie this to straight to the tie down as well. You don't have to have the S beaner, but it just makes it a little more convenient. But all I do is I take my, my belt loop and then I simply loop this over the top, right? And then if you can imagine, if the pistol is inside of this and I have to reach inside of it to get the pistol, I simply just draw the pistol out and the holster will stay with the pouch and it may fall out, but it'll just dangle there. Uh, and then I can just easily reholster and then just stick the whole thing back in. Uh, I find this easier than putting a bunch of Velcro on a holster or something and keeping it in there. And it makes it a little more versatile because I can, I can pull this out and then I can just stuff this back into my pants if I want to carry concealed uh, in, inside the waistband again. So it makes it very fast and easy to transfer between uh, those two modes of carry. And then lastly, my favorite part about this new design is that we added this zippered compartment on the back. Uh, and you can see here, I have, you know, just some cash and my wallet just in the backside there. I just really love that I have the ability to just separate those items, things that I don't need to grab in an emergency. And they're also just hidden. So if somebody comes up and they're, you know, they're asking me for stuff and uh, you know, I have certain, I have my passport, whatever, in this back compartment. Say I don't even have my gun on me. When I empty the fanny pack out, it doesn't really necessarily have any valuables in it or those critical documents can be stuffed behind it. They would have to have me remove the fanny pack in order to find those items. So just kind of a little hidden pocket. Again, I don't keep anything in the main compartment when I'm concealed carrying my pistol in it. I don't want anything interrupting that draw and I also don't want to uh, have to open that pocket to gain access to stuff and then have a pistol showing out in public. So just to you know beat the horse to death, I'm gonna show you with a Glock 17 because I know we're gonna get asked about it and everyone uh, loves a good Glock 17. So here we are, um, 17 round Glock mag, fits very well in the front pocket. And then here we have the full size Glock 17. Uh, that is a Raven concealment idle on holster. So it, uh, you can, you know, for size reference has an acro on it. So it is fits in there very easily, plenty of space still. And uh, the best part is that because it does have a lot of room, it doesn't look like there's a pistol in it. It's not poking out or protruding or anything like that. So another great use for the big fanny sack is just as a med kit. So personally, I carried a fanny pack the whole time I was at the State Department, uh, the whole time I was contracting actually, I wore a fanny pack with med equipment in it. Just makes sense to me if I have my pistol concealed, spare magazine and having uh, med supplies, it just always made a lot of sense to me. It's, it's right there, it's easy to grab. And the great thing about this is I could store some other small items in it as well, like my wallet and cash and things like that. But uh, opening this guy up, I just have in the front pocket, I always like to keep gloves, uh, easily accessible because I don't want to touch, uh, especially like foreign nationals and things like that. People I don't know the the status of their health. I don't really want to be, you know, putting their bodily fluids on me. Quite frankly, even you guys stateside, I don't want to put your, I know what you guys are up to. I don't want that stuff on me. So I always keep gloves easily accessible in the front. Uh, opening up the main pouch, it can fit our medical sleigh really well. Uh, so if you have a, a medical sleigh, then you can put that inside of there so the bulk of the med kit can just be easily uh, taken out and used. Um, I also have one of the survival wraps from North American Rescue uh, for hypothermia care. On the bottom, we have a tourniquet. 
uh, just attached. You know, you can get our universal retention kit. You can buy those on the website as well. Uh, that adapts any of our pouches with the grommets in the bottom. You can you can add a tourniquet to the bottom. How this works? Easily, just pull it, and then that gives you the space you need to get the um, the tourniquet out. Very simple design. It just uses a cord lock and a uh, and shock cord. So you tighten it up, and then when you pull, it just loosens it up. So there. On the back side here, this is great for all of your flat materials. So chest seals, tape, things like that, right? You could put shears back there. Anything that lays kind of flat can just hide in the back there. So again, for medical, big fanny sack is a, is kind of a big win because you can, you know, you can definitely compartmentalize your med kit and carry it all on your waist. So next up is the brunch box. And we did this video together with the Big Fanny because they share uh, the same footprint. So the brunch box is a Big Fanny sack, but we've added a ton of features to it to put it in its own little segment. If you're familiar with our lunch box pouch uh, that we made in collaboration with the Direct Action Resource Center, then this pouch is definitely for you. We've been getting asked for a while for you know, some of the features of the lunchbox, but in a smaller package. That's how we kind of got to this point. Um, the lunchbox was designed for that, you know, big counter-terror mission, really that local uh, domestic law enforcement counter-terror stuff where they're not sure what, you know, what kind of building they're going to have to assault. So they have a lot of choices on charges and they, they probably are going to store multiple lunchboxes in their uh, magazine in their car so that they have access to different charges that they can use in different situations. This pouch is more focused on the assaulter breacher uh, kind of mentality, right? So every guy has charges on him. It doesn't matter who you are, you're capable of placing a charge and blowing certain kinds of doors without uh, necessarily having the breacher release you. Now that being said, because of the bigger size and some of the features, this might also work out for uh, medics or just really GP for anyone who is looking for a larger kind of fanny pack style, uh, either you know a sack abdominal carry that can attach to your vest with using hook and loop, or it can have a waist strap on it. So this one that I have in front of me is set up currently without the waist strap. And if I pull on the back here, you can see that there's a tongue right? And that tongue fit, you know, it fits just like our sack pouch. And this would go uh, onto your plate carrier, you know, and, and hook either in, inside the bag or on the front, depending on what kind of carrier you have. And you can see that on the back, we have these loops here, which, you know, can carry those interior door charges, um, slap charges, whatever you want to call them. Those can slide in here. Uh, this is an, el an elastic material, but it also has a loop face on it. So when you close this tongue, uh, it's secure back there if you're wearing it in a in a fanny pack orientation. So these slots are so that you can wear charges on the back, but we also have elastic loops on the front as well. Uh, this was a request, you know, we if you ask a room full of breachers where they like to wear their charges, you'll get, you know, however many breaches there are, that's how many answers you'll get. So we decided to put them on both sides just to give options to guys. If they want them on the back side, great. If they want them on the front side, also great. For me, I like to put different uh, charge lengths or grain weights either on the front or the back just to keep them you know, neatly organized so I know where my, my different charges are and I can easily reach down and grab them without looking and just know that, hey, this certain length is on the front and another length's on the back. So as far as the, the pocket dimensions uh, go, they're the same as the big fanny sack. So we have a front pocket, dual zips, tie down loop uh, on the inside of that. Again, for breaching, this is great for those small tools, storing 209, you know, spare 209 caps, uh, spare initiators, things like that. Your wire cutters, all that stuff can go in this front pocket. On the inside, we can store roll-ups or other charges that you might have, but we specifically built it to be able to store two roll-ups. If they're about 80 inches, that's gonna be fine. If you're doing 109 inch roll-ups for uh, door returns and stuff like that, you're going to not be able to store two in here most likely unless you can build them in a way that they're very thin. Two normal size roll-ups, if you're doing an extended roll-up, it's, it's probably gonna just fit one. The inside is 
lined with loop on both sides and it does have tie down loops just like all of our uh, pouches do. And then this is kind of one of the unique features of it too is that we have these loops on both sides and one of them has a tri-glide. And that is simply so that you can attach a waist strap to this pouch as well. So this pouch comes with everything you need to wear it in the sub-abdominal carry kind of format or as a fanny pack. So you can just add the strap or take it off uh, whether you know if you need it or not. All right, so the brunch box. Uh, I loaded one up here just to give you kind of an idea of the art of the possible. Uh, so we're gonna start with the main compartment. So as you can see, I have two roll-ups placed in there and these are you know 80 inch standard roll-ups just to give you an idea of what it can fit. I also use the main compartment to store uh, extra adhesives, right? So these are, are just small uh, pieces of BT60 that are stored in a sandwich bag. If it was operational, I would probably vacuum seal that bag, but for training, I just keep them in a sandwich bag. And a quick note, uh, all of my breaching information is coming from the Direct Action Resource Center. I'm a Darcy trained breacher. Uh, so everything I know about breaching is knowledge that has been transferred to me from Darcy. Just wanna give them credit uh, because you know this, the theory of doing things a certain way, it all comes from somewhere, right? And that's where this information came from and it helped us develop uh, this product as well. So just giving them a quick shout out. So that's the main compartment. That's generally what I carry inside of it is just whichever charges and then my spare adhesives will be in there as well. Sometimes I'll keep uh, some note cards in there too in case I need to flex charges or something. I like to have quick reference guides for some of those flexes, common flexes. So I can just reference those uh, on the fly and just speed up my, my math you know, decision making there. Uh, I also have two different charges on one on either side of the of the pouch just for demonstrating again i have one strapped to the front and then i have one strapped to the back just to give you an idea of kind of what that looks like with the two different elastic options that we have there and then finally in the front pocket this is where i store all of my spare uh, items for breaching specifically. So a lot of these items will have duplicates elsewhere on my kit, but this little pouch is great for just storing those spares that I might need. So first off, uh, if you're using a percussion style, um, like a punch system, then you always have a couple of spares. So I like to keep one in there. Uh, I keep an extra cutter in there as well in case I have to cut away. And then I keep this kind of octopus looking thing, which has everything <laughs> tied down to it. Um, paint can key, uh, a small magnet for testing doors, a punch for my primers, and then a little, uh, a little primer guy in there. And that's what I really love about this small pocket on the front is that I can keep uh, all of these items that are specific to breaching, I can keep them in that small pocket. And uh, I usually just keep that closed. Like I said, I usually have other, you know, I have another set of cutters. I have another, um, I have another punch elsewhere on my kit, but this is, you know, this is the place that I keep all those spares because ultimately you're gonna drop something or, you know, it's gonna be stuck somewhere in your kit. And so you can reach down and you can just grab that spare out of there. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for the big fanny sack and the brunch box. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Both of these products are gonna be available on our website. Again, if you like the channel and you're getting any uh, anything out of it, go ahead and like and subscribe. Helps us keep these videos going and keeps us uh, giving information to you. So we'll see you next time. Oh,